Hey guys, welcome back to Caesar 3, and we are here with our animal blocks. So in part one, we st sort of started up our animal blocks and got all the pottery industry going. So we have infinite money. Part two, we started expanding into the snake block and got the bunny block going and uh, started the luxury llama. And now in part three, we're going to go for max level housing with, uh, well, to boost our prosperity up and get our population up to 8,000 people. But we've got a lot of money to do it. So let's go ahead and get things started. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, there's the Luxury Llama. Look at that. The Luxury Llama. Now, I'm a little annoyed by the ears not fully developing there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go ahead and do this. And also, I remember, I was checking this earlier. Some of these things are gonna start burning down. So we're gonna need to get a Prefecture and Engineer's post here ASAP. And I wanted to just put a couple statues at the top of the ears there so that we'll get the ears looking proper. <laughs> Everything sort of looks like an animal on the map, by the way. If you look there, there's the bunny, there's the butterfly. And with infinite money, we should be able to just develop things very, very quickly. So first things first, as I promised, at the start of each part on this map, I want to ask you guys to give me an animal so that I could draw it on the map. So like, it doesn't have to turn into a block eventually. Like, I did this snail just for fun. So I want you guys to tell me another animal and I'm gonna draw it over here. What animal would you like to see as another roadblock? Now, I'm also gonna put down a gatehouse right here. We're gonna get some houses moving in here. Uh, we're gonna put them like this. Just get some people moving in here and there. So this butterfly block will be developed. A couple houses there. And I'm going to go ahead and start up some wheat farms here for the butterfly block. And I'm gonna be as efficient as I possibly can, and I'm gonna go for six farms. There's six farms. We're gonna have this road extend like this. I'm gonna have a granary right here, and an extra set of houses right there. Then before I forget, prefecture, prefecture, Engineer's post, engineer's post. Okay, and we are also gonna have a bunch of markets here because the butterfly block is not an efficient block. I'm gonna put down four markets. Four markets. Now you guys are saying elephant, jellyfish, spider. Spider is gonna be a bit close to the crab. I, wait, no, this is a spider. No, I, I get confused between spider and crab on this. Uh, the Roman she-wolf. Oof. Elephant, wolf, dragon. Which map is this? This is, what's it called again? Our expansion west. Tingis, it's Tingis. Um, wolf, a wolf head might be cool, but I don't know if I could do it. Let, let's try, let's try draw a wolf head. Let's try draw a wolf head. And also, there we go. If I were to draw a wolf head, it's gonna have to be like, a building has collapsed. Oh yes, it was that. This granary. You know, I think I should just hook the granaries up like that and have like, prefecture, prefecture. Or maybe, I kinda need like a couple extra houses down there, don't I? I'm not sure. How do I draw a wolf head? How do I draw a wolf head? It's gonna be tricky. This was for the meat, right? Yeah. Oh yes, that didn't get employment yet. So a wolf head, a wolf head. I'm not sure if I could. Unless it's just... Maybe it's not necessarily howling. Maybe it's just sort of like... Somewhat straight like that. Not too high. And then it's gonna have to have like... Ears. <laughs> A little hard to draw ears like this, but okay, there we go. That's looking somewhat okay. Yeah, it's gotta be a bit lower. Like that. There. That looks a bit better. We could actually puff out the chest a bit, maybe. Maybe that's a bit too much. This is like doing really rough sketches, by the way. Like 
that. The eye will be there. Can we get... <laughs> Let's not draw a mouth, shall we? Let's not draw a mouth. It, it sort of loses its stoic value. Let's do that. And yeah, I'm just gonna... Maybe have that straight, yeah? Maybe I'll just leave it unfinished to imply the rest of it. If the the wolf was sort of sat upright, it would... I know, it's hard, it's hard to get that correct without a reference. I know it's got like bunny ears, but I can't do triangles. If I wanted to just wrap up the wolf head, can I just do that? No, that doesn't... that loses the implication of what it actually is. Oh well, it's a wolf head, there we go. <laughs> the governor's on crack, yeah, it's uh... it's uh... it's a little interesting, isn't it? Anyway, uh, we could also put down a fountain here. We're gonna have to have a fountain on this side. We'll figure that out. And uh, we, I suppose we could just double up on the farms here. Wheat vegetables like that get some extra farming going on this side so that we can actually start feeding those houses these houses have started to move in we're gonna feed those soon enough now is that actually these trees are actually kind of blocking the way into the bunny block so I think I actually want to open this up a little bit so that I could no, I don't want the aqueduct running through there, do I? I'll rather have a reservoir placed on this side. Like that. The aqueduct can run up this way. Make sure there is a path through. And we can hook it up like this. There we go. That's gonna bring water there. Employees needed, yes. Uh, but people will slowly start moving in. Let's speed the game up, get things going. We probably don't need this much food here, but uh, we'll see. But I know we need an amphitheater there because this is not getting the entertainment it needs. Okay. So these six farms should feed the butterfly block without too much problem. And meanwhile, we probably can start getting markets down this side. I'm not sure. There's the luxury llama ears, anyway. That looks okay. Are these all working? They are. So that means I could clear this off. And have... I would want... How do I want this? I'm gonna put a warehouse here, set to accepting meat, so that we can get the three types of food. And this is gonna be set to getting meat, and the meat trade route is a land trade route, it is, so we can start importing meat. So we'll have the three types of food there. And we're also gonna need a couple more warehouses. Hmm, this... We can't move that reservoir up, so I'm gonna probably have to put the warehouses up this way. I guess so. Alright, let's put the warehouses up this side, round the llama's face, and this is gonna be getting all the resources we need to evolve these houses. And this one is gonna get furniture. And I guess we have another one here, or here, set to getting oil. Oil is a water trade route? It is, yes, so all the oil is going in there, that's fine, fantastic, okay. So we're getting all the resources we need up this side. How about wine? 
Wine is a land trade route. Land and water trade route, I see. So, we will need a fourth warehouse. Which I guess I will just stick up this way. So that we can just set to importing wine and it'll automatically count as two types of wine. There we go. Okay, so these houses here have moved in. These houses there have... Uh, let's get the fountains down. We'll keep it as symmetrical as possible. So it's... There. Something's on fire. Not to worry. There. Oh! I forgot about those. <laughs> Um, prefecture there. We're just gonna get like a lot of prefectures. We're gonna need quite a few, right? And engineer's posts. I forgot about these. Okay. Because all of that's gonna start catching fire soon. Now what was I doing? Um, fountains, yes. Fountains. So one is supposed to be here. Yeah, we'll keep that symmetrical. And also, just for effect, I'm gonna plaza up the body of the butterfly. And in case you're wondering, this squiggly line coming out of the butterfly is the path the butterfly is going. See? <laughs> see? See? I, I thought of the concept. I thought of the concept. Ah. Oh. Okay, when's the next Pharaoh episode? Probably this coming weekend, just gotta edit it up. So we got plenty of furniture. These might not have proper access to housing, I'm not too sure. If they walk down this way or this way, they should find access, but we are short by 127. Jeez, how did I suddenly get so short? Um, let's get rid of... Do we need to get rid of a farm here? I'm not too sure. Maybe we have too many farms, or well, not enough houses. Let's just start putting down houses all over the place, yeah? And we'll try keep it symmetrical. So there, 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 there. So how many houses can I comfortably fit into this block? I'm not too sure. Let's speed it up. We need people to move in. My priorities are still properly set yet. Okay, good. Alright, alright. It's all looking good. In case you're wondering why money's dropping is because I've just spent a lot. Now, uh, we probably should get, like, a doctor down here somewhere as well. Like, here, I guess. Somewhere in the middle, I don't know. Let's just stick a doctor on both sides there. Okay, so these are now starting to evolve. They need access to local religious facilities, so we do need to squeeze down a few temples. I guess we could go... fill the middle with temples, I guess? Ceres. Neptune. Mercury. Do I want to put Mars down? Mars. Venus. There we go. Okay, so that's gonna evolve those houses further. Once these houses move in, we should get the employees we need. It's just gonna take a bit of time, not to worry. Okay. Zessarone, welcome to the stream. Love your streams, thank you so much. Sword Stalker says the butterfly is the best shape. It is, it is quite good, right? It's quite good. It's just a little, it's probably the hardest to manage. It's a little, I don't know, the, the spider might actually be a little harder. I'm not too sure. The bunny is surprisingly easy. <laughs> the bunny face. The wolf head, I'm just leaving it there. It's an incomplete project. You know how cities have all of these, these 
aesthetic projects and they just never come into effect for anything. I think we need to put some houses here. Like a house right there, right? Just to get access to these things, yeah. Um, how's fire damage looking okay? Meat's coming through, okay. So I guess we can start putting down markets. Which I could have... Market. Market. I don't know how many markets I need to keep this stable. I don't really want to market there. 3,000 people though, 3,000 people. Flizzy Duck says the duck block needs some evolving. <laughs> you d Flizzy Duck is the one who originally gave the idea for the duck block. Uh, just so you guys know. One, two, three markets should cover things properly. Uh, and the, the duck block was the first block which we did in honor of Flizzy Duck in chat. Uh, it does need some food, doesn't it? It does need some food. I guess we could... Unemployment of 3%. Wow, okay. Well, in that case... I'm going to go ahead and... Set up something here. What, what do I want to set up? If I put like a... I need like a, a food production zone. Which I could extend back this way, I guess. If I just go ahead and maybe gatehouse this up. It should work, as intended. We'll leave that as is. And let's say I want to stockpile a lot of wheat. I need to produce a lot of wheat that's gonna fill up into storage yards. That seems excessive, but it's gonna be fine. And this road comes down like that, comes up like that, into houses there. Prefecture. Prefecture engineers post here, I think, so that we could have the warehouse right here, leaving that little gap open. And this is going to be set to accepting wheat. If there's any surplus from these farms, it will overflow into the granary. Actually, it will go to the granary first, but then into the warehouse, right? I'm not sure if I want this road connection at all, actually. Maybe I don't. Maybe I do. I don't know. These are evolving. What do they need? Entertainment? Storms, no problem. Actor Colony. Gladiator School. And we can put down some amphitheaters. Amphitheaters. How am I arranging this? This is so this is so hard to manage. Uh, theaters here, theater, theater. Yes. Okay. We probably should tax these people as well. So, forum, forum. I guess. Bathhouse. We do need bathhouses. Okay. I'm not sure if I need more amphitheaters down here. I probably do, but we'll see how this goes first. Because the gladiators will walk up the middle, I think, providing access. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, 
So I'm gonna wait for this to come in now. Um, it's gonna need some houses, that's fine. If we can get enough food stockpiled into a warehouse, we could bring it over to the Flizzy Duck block. Now, meanwhile, these houses should be evolving as well. They need access to local religious facilities. Did I import marble? I did import marble. So I could be a bit fancy here and put down, like, large temples instead. To, like, Venus. That's gonna look good. We're actually not... We don't have a lot of surplus space, do we? <laughs> um, let's put a large temple to Venus here. I don't know if I have... You know what? I'm just gonna put small temples first. If I have excess space, I will put down more. So I'll put down Ceres. How many do we need? Three? Neptune. We probably should put down all five, right? Mercury. Mars. And Venus. Uh, let's move that engineer's post. There we go. So, Luxury Llama is coming along quite nicely. These guys need basic educational facilities, so let's pop a school on both sides and see where they run, yeah? This forum here... No, we can't get any closer to that. The butterfly block is kind of near the, the snake block, and also these gardens are messing up the walker path. So we gotta be careful of that. Let's not have gardens here. And instead, let's plaza up the butterfly wings. Just plaza them up. There we go. And I suppose we leave the antenna unplaza for effect? Oh, we spent all our money. <laughs> oh, we spent all our money. You know what? Let's undo that left wing and we'll just get our money back. Okay, let's speed things along. We have... Uh, have we imported a bunch of stuff? You know what? Let's uh, stop importing marble. Exporting, exporting, importing, importing. Okay, I probably just spent it all on meat or something, right? Short by 86 employees. I think I could cut back on farms. Five furniture is no problem. It's because I'm running the game on slow and... Uh, yeah, let's, let's get rid of a farm here. We don't need three vegetable farms. And all these farms are now functioning, but it, yeah, I think I have to get rid of this gatehouse? Maybe not. Maybe I do want the road coming in through here. But for efficiency... Yes, yes, that actually works better. Now these farms can walk that way to the granary, and if the granary's full, they walk this way to the warehouse. But the warehouse probably... I should just probably move the warehouse over here, right? Yeah, well, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, money has come in, so we can plaza up this left wing. Let's go ahead and do that. Get some of these houses evolved. No basic education facilities. Which way are the school children running? Education schools. Generally the wrong way. <laughs> um, this school is covering the whole wing. Would you look at that? But these school children are all running the same way, which is not so good. So this cannot be exactly symmetrical. Let's try that. Let's try that. Ah. There are houses up on the Neptune in the butterfly block which don't have water access, so you are correct. How do these have water access? Well, they kind of do. Let's just move the fountains over. 
Yes. Good. Good. Okay. Problem solved. So there we go. Food is now stockpiling into the warehouse, which means Flizzy Duck Block can get some things going. Um, this is going to be a little tricky. I think what I need to do is I need to... We're going to give the duck some shoes. I know that sounds weird, but we're going to give the duck shoes so we can hook this road up here and have... So now the duck is in a pond. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying things. I don't know if any of it actually makes any sense. <laughs> the duck is in a pond. Ah, uh, that kind of ruins the aesthetic, doesn't it? Maybe I just keep it as a flaw. Yeah, the duck is is just there. I'm just gonna have like some houses there. That's fine. The duck is standing on the ground. Okay, that makes more sense. We're just gonna do this so that we can have a granary right here which is going to be set to getting wheat and we're going to have one, two, three, four, five and I'm going to move this spider leg over by one and all of these warehouses are going to be set to getting Oh, this is going to be tedious. I'm going to be getting wheat in all of these warehouses. This should bring in enough food to feed this area. It's three. <laughs> uh, my new farming area has space for another farm. Yeah, it's just because I'm short on workers, so I don't want to over overdo it too much. Okay, all done. All done. Yes, set up. Okay. This granary is getting employees already because, I don't know, the walkers are spawning a bit weirdly. That's fine. Okay. Uh... New farming area has space for another farm. Yeah, but we don't need any more farms. This has needs more entertainment, so I guess we just trade more weapons. Oh, we don't need more weapons. Now, how do I do this? Theater. Amphitheater. Actor colony. Just gonna bend this llama's foot a little bit to have the gladiator school. I don't have a doctor yet. Doctor Barber. And the theater we can now put over this side. And we do not need that theater. This actor colony will send the walker that way and that should cover that. Okay, perfect. There we go. <laughs> bathhouses? Yes, we need bathhouses. Well, we've evolved all of these houses. Um, they now need a supply of pottery, which I suppose we could get going. If I just move... These two shouldn't be here. I'm going to move the actor colony. Let's move this engineer's post. So I can move the actor colony and gladiator school here. And since furniture is over here, I should actually have the warehouse getting furniture like here, right? Yeah. 
this is going to be getting. So our population is already at 4,000, which is pretty impressive. Um, and because it's so close to the furniture, I could double this up to getting pottery as well. Okay. It's a bit of desirability. Medium statue, medium statue. There we go. Okay, the butterfly block is surprisingly working. <laughs> Now, is all this food coming over on this side? The first batch of wheat has arrived at the ground of the duck block. Lizzie Duck, we are going to feed your block. Now, the school, yes. Is that working? Education school? Yeah, two schools work. Fantastic. This block over here is actually doing very well as well. I think the snake block is pretty much developed. I don't know if I could get away with more houses, like if I put a house there. The desirability is going to be a problem. I could squeeze more houses up this side. I could just put an oracle right there. These guys need a school. How do I want this to be placed? Okay, maybe. I could make things... No, there's no point in that. Okay. So some school children are running around now. Do any reach up here? Do you guys reach up here? No, you don't. <laughs> I guess I kind of need a school here. But if I have a school there, I probably don't need this school. Let's see if this works, yeah? Okay, good. All right, butterfly block needs pottery, which means we need to get... And uh, that warehouse here is gonna be getting pottery, right? It's so close to the furniture, so it should have plenty. But then again... To get pottery, he has to walk all the way around. I gotta get rid of these trees right there. Are the markets taking furniture? <laughs> they are. Okay. Well, we'll load up on furniture first. There we go. Food has actually filled up here. So now I can start putting markets down. One... Let's feed the duck block. What were these aqueduct lines for? To make it look like a bunny. It's a bunny block. It needs whiskers. That's a given. <laughs> Lizaran. Unless you're talking about the actual aqueduct lines, in which case they are just to transport water. <laughs> No, it's a bunny block. It's look, it's it's gotta, it's gotta have that. Okay, so now these things need access to a local bathhouse. 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 It's a little cramped. It's a little cramped. I'm I'm leaving this area open because if I could possibly, what am I doing? I have all this middle space, right? This is six deep. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have all this space here, yeah. Um, I should probably put down a fountain. Like there. Just because. So there we go. We're now evolving the luxury llama block. Looking good. We've got three types of food all set up. All the markets are fully stocked. We've got all of that stuff. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, how are we taxing people? I mean, it's not the best coverage, is it? But, oh well. Let's just tax people. Yeah, 
that's fine. So now we're feeding all of this. They do have fountain access, but not the whole block. Oh, we're under attack. We're under attack. Okay. Ritesh says, oh, I just saw the bunny. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's a bunny. Um, let's slow the game down. Where are they coming from? The snail symbol. Yes. So all of you just slow down and chill out. And we actually have no way of walking through all this. I know we do, we do. Let's put a gap there. Let's bring down all of these guys. Okay, who are these guys? Numidians. I see, okay. Now, what was I doing? Fountains, right. Uh, I kind of need... Fountain there. I'm gonna get rid of that house to put a fountain here, which will cover one, two, three, there. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's actually covering there. Okay. So I can already get rid of that. I'm just gonna get rid of that fountain. Okay, there we go. So the invasions on this map are not too extreme, so it's actually fine. How is our employment, by the way? Unemployment of 8%. Okay, I guess we just ensure there's always enough food there. Oh, they are running around this way, okay. So I'd prefer letting my javelins take the brunt of this attack because javelins are free to replace. Oh, they actually started charging. <laughs> okay. And then we'll have the legionnaires come in after this. There we go. Oh, this guy's getting away. Bashim running on. Nice group there running away. Fantastic. How many did we kill? 11% unemployment, jeez. Um, did we lose any legionnaires? No, okay. We killed most of them. Invasion dealt with. Now these things are actually medium insulators. Now they need a library. Okay, okay. 20. Jeez, that's a lot. Uh, library. Library. It's not exactly symmetrical. Um, Sajuk says when he mentioned the farming thing, he meant the butterfly block. Your shortcut road supports one more farm. Not exactly. But we don't, we, we don't need another farm. <laughs> so the first feeding on this side has come along quite nicely. I guess we should plaza up the duck block now. Flizzy duck. Oh jeez, we're killing sheep. Flizzy Duck, we have plazaed up your block. Hope you're happy. Uh, oh, we killed a, a sheep. <laughs> uh, so we've plazaed this up. What do you guys need? Too little entertainment? I guess we just drop an amphitheater, right? Act a comedy. Gladiator School. Oh, we missed... We missed the back of the duck. There we go. Now the duck block has been plazaed up. Would you look at that? 
we're actually feeding the duck block. Now we need to get some water over on this side. So we need the fountain to basically be here, right? One, two, three, four. That needs to be there. So we need a reservoir. Like here. Okay, so there we go. Duck block is now set up. I guess we should have like extra fountain there just to make sure that's all covered. Are all the houses covered? Why is there a road there? There we go. So that's gonna bring in a ton of people with 10% unemployment. That's actually pretty extreme. How's our luxury block looking? We don't have any forums here, do we? We probably should get one of those down. Is everything covered? Education, school, yes, normal. Let's put down a library. Um, what else do they need? They got two bathhouses, yes. 10% unemployment, 12%. You know what? Maybe I just put down the Hippodrome, right? Hippodrome. How much is it? I don't wanna go into debt for this. 2,500, okay. But I could put down the Chariot Maker. I'm gonna move this warehouse over here, and this is gonna be the wine warehouse. So that I could move... It doesn't matter which one. This is the wine white warehouse? Yeah. Our chariot maker is going to go here. There we go. Luxury Llama is coming along quite nicely. So I can put down the Hippodrome to deal with my unemployment issue, but I'm currently in debt because I gave away most of my pottery this year, which is pretty crazy. Is pottery holding up here? Yeah. Pottery is holding up here. Yeah. What do these need? Need local access to Barber. Health. Barber. We'll see how that does. How is the coverage for doctors? Health. Uh, clinics. Perfect. Okay. Alright, so... Plenty of population coming in. They need basic education. I probably shouldn't be. <laughs> There's 5,000 people, yes! I mean, it shows like luxury palaces on this cinematic. I, I'm not that close to that quite yet. Let's get some schoolhouses down. That should cover everything. Food seems to be holding up. It's just the first feeding that becomes a bit of a problem, but it's okay. Blizzy Duck, hope you're happy. Your, du your duck block the original duck block is no longer the peasant block. Look at that. Look at all the houses evolving. They're now small casas. They're, they're sort of middle class peasants now. It's better than being the poverty block. Now the bunny block is just sort of... Uh, you know, the bunny block is sort of appropriate. You know, technically I suppose that the, the timber industry block should be a beaver block. But it's okay. Okay. These are now large insulates. They have enough entertainment, but not enough. We do need a coliseum somewhere. Which is a little tricky to pull off. How can I do this? Maybe if I... Yeah. Extend this road a little bit. Have the warehouse here. Set to... Getting oil move the oil start emptying warehouse move this put a coliseum there 
That should work. That should work. What else do we need? Entertainment theater? Entertainment amphitheater. Uh, education library. One library is doing all this? That's pretty good. Surprisingly effective. Health clinics. Health baths. Okay. Anything burning down? Anything falling apart? No. Okay. Fantastic. So everything's going along quite nicely. Our population, we've in so far in this episode, we've gone from, what, 2,000-something to 5,000-something. Our unemployment must be crazy high, 15%. We do have enough money for a Hippodrome, so I'm just going to put this down right now. Um, bam. Hippodrome. That is going to take 150 people. 150 people. That should deal with our unemployment issue. Come on, fine people. We're also going to need a hospital. So let's put down a... Can it fit there? It can't fit there. i got to move the library. Library to there. Hospital to here. I know, I know. It's fine. There we go. Hippodrome is functioning. Uh, unemployment... It's only 5%, jeez. Um... So now these are all grand insulates and they need a supply of wine before it can evolve further. Okay. So this... The Hippodrome is causing problems? Yeah. Could I somehow mitigate that? We did that though. We did that. And we're not in debt. We're not in debt. <laughs> Congratulations, a Hippodrome has commenced operations. Your fair city has joined the ranks of the best in all the Empire. Not quite yet, I think, but we'll, we'll get there soon enough. Those don't have a supply of oil. Yeah, we're gonna need another warehouse for oil down here, I think. Um, you know what? Let's just get that going. You are going to be getting oil. We'll get that going. This needs pottery. Do we have enough pottery to spare? We're actually... Is there extra clay going around? I can actually start deleting some... I forgot I could delete all of these houses. We do not need all of these houses. Um, I'm gonna leave some, though. We don't need any of that. There's a house there and a house there. That's all we need. Making room for... I think I could support another couple pottery workshops. Yes. Like that. Can I get another clay pit? I could. Leaving a gap there, and we'll just put down... Like that. There we go. So that should help deal with the unemployment and also boost our pottery production even further. Fantastic. Because we're actually selling quite a bit of it. How, how much pottery do I need to keep in storage? We have one... More meat. One, two... Three, four. If it's four, eight, sixteen, twenty-four, thirty-two. Let's stop exporting so much. Export when it's over thirty-two. Okay, so that's gonna take a little time to to build up our stockpile, but that should not take too long. Should not take too long. So the Hippodrome's going, we need to import wine. We are a little short on money, but not too concerned about that. How are ratings? Everything's actually fine. Peace has hit there, too few academies, okay. Do we still have unemployment? We do, so we can put down an academy, if I so desire. If I could fit it somewhere. I'm getting rid of that. 
I'm gonna put a, another warehouse over here. For the furniture. And we'll empty that out. So I could put an academy there. Could I replace these two with oracles? Does that help? I'm not sure if that can be a luxury palace because this hippodrome is going to kill the desirability. We'll see what we can do. But I could fit another house here. Not the worst thing in the world. Can I get water over there? Reservoir there. Fountain. In the llama tail. Yes, so we can get one more luxury palace on the back of the llama there. Fantastic. Luxury llama is coming along quite nicely. Well, some of these houses are struggling. Not enough entertainment. Hmm. Oh well. Can't believe the duck blocks filled up. Medium statue. Evolve that, please. Evolve that, please. So we've stocked up on pottery. How much pottery do we have in storage now? 20. Some's currently being transported around. Having four markets here means there's quite a bit of a... No access to Barber. Quite a bit of a, a buffer there. Uh, health. Barber. We probably do need one more. Like here and here. That should stabilize the Barber. Okay, we are selling some pottery. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, that devolved. No access to a library. I see. That is a bit of a problem. Could put a library back here. I keep saying library. <laughs> do you guys do that? I'm trying to say library, but I keep saying library. Duck block seems to be feeding okay. The markets have food, yes, okay. So we're at like 5,000. This is probably gonna get us to 6,000 people, I think. I think having an amphitheater back here is going to help as well. Needs desirability. I guess we just fill all these cracks with gardens, right? Put like an oracle there. Okay. Access to the library. What's the coverage? It's hard to see the coverage of everything. Like sometimes one wing looks okay, the other wing doesn't look okay. It's kind of weird. I guess I should have a library here, right? Just to help cover things. Because of the unorthodox road patterns, there's actually a lot of space to put stuff, but you know, it struggles. Yeah, that might not be able to evolve to Luxury Palace, so I might want to move this hospital, actually. Oh, this is a little tricky. 
I'm just gonna get rid of that now. I'm gonna move the hospital to here. And I think I will just extend this road to have the prefecture and engineer's post and another warehouse here set to getting pottery. So have all four warehouses on the tail of the llama and set this to stop that. Empty. So I could put like the academy up there. The academy probably won't reach all the way down here though. It's a tricky thing. Maybe I could get rid of another farm, right? Get rid of this farm? Turn this into the academy? That might work. Education. Academy. Bam. There we go. We'll keep an eye on its coverage of things. Because it doesn't look like we need that much food production. The markets are doing fine on all the food stuffs. could move the temple to Venus to there, change this into an oracle. Have we run out of marble? We have run out of marble. Okay, that's the last oracle for now. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good. Like, like what I'm doing? How's our pottery supply? Looking good. So that means we could have another warehouse right here. For efficiency, it should be over there. So I'm gonna move the actor colony. And put a warehouse here. And this is going to be getting pottery. So we can evolve this housing block further. There's no bathhouses here. Two bathhouses. Are we taxing this area? We are, right? Commerce. Tax income. Yes. We're taxing this somewhat. Not the best. Bit of extra tax income wouldn't hurt. We're not really properly taxing the snake block. properly taxing here either, but... Oh well. How is the Hippodrome coverage? Entertainment, Hippodrome, looking okay, okay. Coliseum. How's our employment, by the way? 9% unemployment? Okay. Coliseum. Bam. We got a Hippodrome working before a Colosseum. That's a bit crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, so if this... That might be able to evolve. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. This one's evolved into a Grand Insulae as well. So we're basically at 6,000 people now. So 2,000 short. Evolving these houses should help with that. You're off getting pottery. Okay. We can also squeeze a bunch more houses here. Which is probably what I should do, right? Break that up a bit. Let's get a fountain down. One, two, three, four. Right there. Let's have a row of gardens. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that should help boost our population as well. What's our prosperity rating? 37 and it's rising? Okay. Money is starting to go up, so I guess we can import some wine. Import a bit of marble. That might send us into debt temporarily, but that's okay. How much pottery do we have? 36, export over 32. I see why that's a problem. 
I'm just gonna drop that by four because sometimes there's so much pottery in transit so it doesn't actually count and we can't actually sell it. I'll drop it by eight. Okay, there we go. Get that money going. We need that for the wine and everything that's coming in. We're gonna get rid of that. Okay, what is the coverage of Academy? Perfect. What is the coverage of Hospital? Not perfect. Ah, well done, your citizens are proud to serve you. What was once just a town can truly call itself a city now that it has a working coliseum. Fantastic. We don't have a lion tamer. A lion house. I guess there's no reason why I can't just extend that out. Well, being minus one denarii is one reason, I guess. <laughs> we'll have the lion house there. Or should it be down here? I should actually swap this. The Lion House should go down here. And the Gladiator School should go here. Because the Destination Walker, this Lion House is going to send it that way. The Gladiator is going to send it this way and this way. So the Gladiator House being here is better. Do I have any theatres here? I got one there. I see. Well, that's fine. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna get a lion house going. We just... Ah, there we go. Some wine is coming in and it... Yes, yes, yes. It automatically counts as two types of wine because there are two different types of sources of wine to import. Uh, and yeah, so it counts as two types of wine immediately. So that should start getting some of these houses evolving. Yes, yes. Gotta wait for the market ladies to go get it. Did that caravan just buy pottery out of here? Can I interest you in some top quality? Oh, he came to sell the wine and then he bought stuff out of here. That sucks. <laughs> Alright, but one of these markets just took some wine. Not the closest one? Okay. Alright, but let's make sure the rest of our city isn't falling apart. This evolved okay, needs a supply of furniture, that's alright, okay. That's okay, I'm gonna change one of these farms here. To a warehouse. To getting pottery. Actually, this one should be getting oil. And this one should be getting just pottery. There we go. Let's prioritize this a bit. So did any of these get wine? Which market took the wine? Ah, there we go. Our first villa, fantastic. Medium villa, expanding up to 3x3. Three three. Desirability is an issue, not a problem. Let's move this prefecture over there. Let's change that up. That is just asking for desirability. Let's get some large... What can we fit in the middle here? An oracle? No, it's gonna be 4x4. Four four. There's no space for an oracle. Uh, let's shift the library over. So we can put an oracle there. Come on, evolve. Garden up a little bit. There we go. Needs more desirability. Uh, we can have a row of small statues here. Like that. And large statues here. There we go. There we go. Small palace. Medium palace. Large palace needs more desirability. Okay. Is that a luxury palace? That is a luxury palace. Yes. Venues are too crowded. Oh, that's a global thing. There we go. We've got our first luxury palace in the luxury llama. Look at that. Look at that. 
the luxury llama is probably being the luxury llama now. <laughs> uh, and look at this, it's so inefficient. Those ears, the ears are just a waste. They're just a waste. Now this says there's excellent entertainment, but the venues are too crowded. Probably because of this, right? How are we minus 4,000? What did we just import? <laughs> All right, uh, let's, let's stop importing that. And let's just wait for money to come in. Jeez. Oh, what happened to our money? Ah, uh, well, it happens. It happens. Not to worry. This is where we're just gonna do that. Now, if I just speed things along, do we get our money back? What is killing our income? It's the wine imports, right? So if I just stop that for a bit. Ah, oh, right. Getting rid of the wine imports means we devolve all these houses too. But does that solve our money problem? I think it does. I think just filling up on wine. I wish there was a, a way... Yes, yes, yes. He's not too happy. So... Let me try that again. This sudden debt is always surprising how, how that suddenly happens. I, I didn't put down anything expensive, it just suddenly came on in. Uh, did I stop? I've stopped that. Maybe I just stop all imports for a while. And drop that, and we're... yeah, that's fine. I think it's because it's the end of the year. Let's stop all imports and just focus on making some money back. Our wages are normal, right? Our wages are normal. Our tax rate is 6%, okay. Let's just make sure... Wait, 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 what? Didn't I disable that? <laughs> Silly me. I forgot to turn off importing. The main thing I wanted to turn off importing. Turn off all this imports, please. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, there we go. And let's make sure we do sell that. Okay. I actually, I actually had it, I actually had it. Let's fix our debt problem first, there we go. And let's not import wine until we can actually support it, yeah? There we go. We've got a stockpile of wine to keep these at this villa level. This uh, doctor's clinic, oh the hospital is not reaching over there, but this one? Yeah, so we're just not getting hospital coverage down this side. So I guess we do need to move the actor's colony over here and put a hospital down here instead. There we go, okay. The wine imports are just a bit heavy on the system right now, so don't worry about that, we'll get that fixed. We've still got a stockpile of oil. I suppose we just return to importing oil and uh, meat. Okay, there we go, no problem. How's our employment? Oh. We are actually at 6,000 plus people. That needs a supply of furniture, which we can oblige. I'm gonna shorten one of the spider legs. You are going to be getting wheat. You are now going to be... Let's just empty this warehouse first. You're gonna get furniture when you get to it. Okay. Problem solved, yeah? <laughs> 
problem solved. Is this a campaign mission? Ship it holla ballas? Yes, this is a campaign mission. So that just needs more space to expand. So I guess it would make more sense. If the oracle is here and not here to allow this to expand instead of this one. Needs a third type of food. Come on, there's three types of food. Grand villa. Large villa. Okay. We don't want that one to expand. So we've got two fancy houses that are not expanding. So we're gonna try and go for four luxury palaces, yeah? We're gonna try our very best. How's the hospital coverage? Oh, hospital. Fine. Good. There isn't... Is there anything else we could export? Not really. How's our taxing of this region? Tax income. We probably should have another one, right? Where can I fit it? Move the temple to Venus. Here. So we can tax from down here as well. Okay, good. Oh, animal blocks are <laughs> uh, a little tricky to work with, but I think we're getting it. I think we're getting it. Okay, so that taxing these villas should help a little bit. I don't know if I could increase my tax rates at all. We can try, we can try. Have I turned off my salary, I have turned off my salary, okay. So that's now empty, let's remove that. Let's put down a warehouse here. Let's set this to getting furniture. So we can get these up to large insulates, or rather medium insulates. We don't have oil coming down here yet. So we're in debt again. What is, what is actually, is it just, Imports? Yeah. It's because we're importing so much, is it? It's just oil. If I turn that off. I mean, I don't really need to import things, really. We're producing most of the stuff we're using. I just have to keep an eye on what we're actually spending money on, I think. But besides that, I think our blocks are pretty much established, but we're still short by some people. And it seems like we are struggling to keep up with the food supply here. Yeah. The houses that devolve, I should delete. Alright. Let's deal with the invasion first, yeah? And we'll delete those houses. That side, okay. Alright, let's kill these invaders first. We'll just have these all in like a column like this, I think. Let's just shoot them. That's fine. <laughs> we'll try not to uh, use our legionnaires, if at all possible. I could fill the spider up with basic houses? I really could, actually, because prosperity is not going to be a problem once I get the palaces in, right? There we go. Invasion dealt with. Everyone go home. Battle of the Wolf's Head. <laughs> as much of a wolf. It looks more like a dog, really. So yeah, I could put, like, basic houses here. 
It's October now. Have we max? Are we maxing all of our exports? We're not really maxing furniture exports. Why is that? Are we low on furniture? Perhaps we are low on furniture. Shall we boost furniture production a bit? I think so. Workshop. Furniture. Okay, let's boost. Yeah, we are actually using up all of our furniture now. I see. So we're not we're not selling all of our furniture, I think. It's November now. And we've sold 19 of 25. I mean, we're basically almost maxing our exports. We're not maxing vegetable exports, but that's kind of... I mean, we could get a little bit of vegetables over here, I guess. Um, if I set this to exporting, and if I just have any surplus vegetables, How do I want to do this? I don't want to use up any more space over there. I could just shift some vegetables, I guess. Right? How many can we sell a year? 25? So I'm gonna produce vegetables here. It'll be put into this warehouse. This marble warehouse will get the vegetables over and we'll just sell it, because it's just a water trade route, right? Yeah. It's not a land trade route, so it's a little inconvenient, but okay. That's fine. That's fine. So we're not importing anything right now. There we go. We have all the pottery we need. What, what is it that, that kills? So it's a new year, right? Um, taxes in, trade receipts. This is last year. So far this year, balance. Net in outflow. Uh, so I actually made money last year by a little bit. Construction interest at 10%. Wages, imports. So... What, uh, counting TLS, counting TLS. Are you still in chat right now? What was the ratio of increasing wages and increasing taxes? Was it increase this by eight? Is it? Is eight the max so that I can increase this to like 18? Was it eight to 18? I can't remember what the ratio is for happiness, but I think that's it. I think we'll just keep an eye. People are extremely pleased with me, so I should be able to get away with like 20% taxes, right? So plus eight wage, there we go. Counting TLS is in chat. Plus eight wage, plus how much for taxes? Assuming everything else is happy. <laughs> Because I think this is going to solve our problem. Taxes. Uh, not something people normally say, but... Because that's going to convert... What was it? This up to like 15,000 denarii a year in taxes. So there we go. Some vegetables are coming in. I think once this is four... Where's it going to? Oh. Uh, I didn't realize that. Okay, some vegetables leaked into the population. That's fine, that's fine.
Your construction costs are probably killing things. I don't think I spent that much on construction costs. See, it was just 1,200 last year. But there we go. Now money's coming in. People are still extremely pleased with me. Let's try boost that up even more. 14% is probably all right with the current settings. I don't know, we're at 24% now. <laughs> but with that tax rate and that money coming in, we can now resume our imports uh, of oil. We're importing oil, but we're not actually using all that much. There we go, more furniture's coming in now as well. So these immediately evolved again. Needs more desirability, really? They all need more desirability. I think that uh, Temple of Venus needs to move. What was I going to put here? I can't remember. Let's put an oracle down. Good. Luxury Palace. Yes, thank you very much. Fill these gaps with gardens. Yes. We could fit a medium statue right here and right there. This needs... okay. That school is causing problems. Can I mitigate that with some gardens there maybe? Shift that small temple to Mercury over. make this an oracle. Maybe? Hmm. There's not many temples down this side. I'm, I'm worried about moving temples around. How do I want to do this? Really, the school is the cause of the problems here? Maybe if I swap the school and the temple to Venus. More desirability? Ah, this is so tricky. Um... other space do I have here? I could actually put... Hmm. Come on, I'm so close. This is... This large palace has a different complaint. There's excellent entertainment to be found in the location, but the venues are too crowded. Okay, so I'm gonna have to fix that problem. But this one's just saying desirability, so I want to fix that. Maybe if I shift this oracle closer instead? That's an engineer's post. Oracle there. Is the engineer supposed there? Maybe if I plaza the legs of the llama. <laughs> that sounds like a weird thing to say, but I'm gonna plaza the legs of the llama. Not quite. Can I move that fountain to somewhere else? If I get a fountain functioning there and move this reservoir one over. Of that. So I can get rid of this and convert that into an oracle. Oh, I'm out of marble. <laughs> so close! Ah, import that damn marble. How are people feeling? They're very pleased with me. Looks like taxes were the solution to the money problem. Rich people pay taxes in an ideal world. We'll wait for some marble to come in. Okay, so now I do... The, our prosperity is probably through the roof. Oh, it's gonna be. So I guess I just bring in a bunch of people now, right? Let's just bring in... This crab block here... Well, crab spider block here is gonna be like... Just a population block. Let's get like... Make sure nothing burns down here. Make sure nothing collapses here. 
And let's get a reservoir over somehow. Like here. Let's clear some of these trees. This run through like this. This run through the head of like that. Okay. Because we just need to, we need like another 1,500 people. How many people can fit in here? So yeah, all of this, the luxury housing will get us to about 6-5 once people slowly move in. These houses here... Yeah, any of these houses that devolve in the duct block I need to get rid of because we just can't feed it. That's fine. I might be able to set this to getting wheat as well. Right? Because they're idle. So that's fine. We will plaza up the body of the spider. We will put a large statue in the middle. A uh, large statue won't look good. Let's put medium statues. No, that doesn't look good either. Gardens it is. <laughs> not, not that far. Okay. Just, just garden up the middle. So, Duke, I know you, you hate the gardens, but there we go. So we're just gonna bring these people in because we can- Oh no, the glitched housing! Look at that. That there is glitched housing, you cannot delete it. This has only happened to me once before. Oh well. Bam. More housing. Everyone, get in there. Thank you. Okay. So all of these houses moved in, yeah? Okay, that looks good. I'm not sure if we're actually selling... Oh, it is January. I'm not sure if we're selling any vegetables at all, but... <laughs> um, oh, why is this devolving? Oh, we've lost one palace. What did it lose? I hate it when that happens. Uh, let's put down an oracle here, see if we can get that evolved. There we go, luxury palace. Um, counting TLS, can you just tell me how to evolve this large palace? It says it's got enough entertainment, but it's too crowded. Theater... Oh, it doesn't have amphitheater. Really? Oh... It doesn't have amphitheater access. <laughs> Um, okay. That should solve it then. That should solve it. What, what does this not have? It doesn't have access to a school. Oh, people are unhappy. People are unhappy. People are indifferent. Let's just drop taxes for a while. 18% maybe? Okay. Uh, education... School. Oh, there are no schools coming down this way. No school access. Maybe if I shift the bathhouse to there instead, have the school here. Maybe that will work. Indigenous people. From, oh, another wolf head fight, huh? Let's get this going. There we go. So this area has actually, let's just fountain this up, yeah? Let's deal with these guys. These guys are Numidian warriors. Uh, 
if you guys break through. Oh, how are we... What? What killed a sheep? I don't know. <laughs> but I think our javelins can deal with this. Okay. There we go. Is this a luxury palace now? It is fantastic. This is... Only has access to temples of two religions. Really? Are too many of the temples up north, I guess? One, two, three, four, five? Which two? That has four. This has two. All. Four. All. I need to move Mercury down here. If I just shift this, hospital... Lion house... Extend the road by one. Break that. Temple to Mercury down here. Replaza that up. Twenty pottery, okay. Yeah, we have plenty of that. <laughs> so... That should solve our problem. Hopefully. We'll see. We just need to let that run, I think. There we go. Four luxury palaces, yes. More indigenous people? Okay. From the snail. I wish there was a select all button for military. <laughs> It would make things a bit easier, don't you think? Okay. So now the only main problem we have is getting our population up. People are annoyed with you? Okay. Let's drop taxes to 14%. I think taxes were too high for a while there. It's okay. That's fine. Yes. Can we shoot them, please? Where's our legionnaires? Oh, there they are. Ah, oh, there we go. Just Wayne of Cowl and Steve the Capitulator getting away. That's fine. Everyone return to fort. Let's reinforce our troops there. Okay. Oh, Cassandra said 6666 population Nero confirmed. <laughs> Is the southernmost oracle really necessary? Which southernmost oracle? Trollcorp. Throw a festival if you need to? Throw a festival to whom? What what do we need? Do we need anything? I don't think so. The one in the luxury block? Southernmost oracle. What, this one? It's helping with this, right? Either way, we've got four luxury palaces. I'm quite happy with that. Taxes are streaming on in. Now, I guess uh, to boost population, I just fill all the gaps now here with the houses, right? It doesn't have to look pretty or anything. Just, just house it on up, right? Squeeze a couple of houses here and there. Squeeze a couple of houses here and there. Uh-huh, okay. I don't know if market ladies should cover up here as well. So I guess we should just house that on up. Clear off some of these trees. Maybe leave a couple gaps here and there. Just to make sure. We don't need that gap there. We could have that gap there. Okay, so we're just gonna boost that on up and try to make sure everywhere has water. This 
this have water? There, there we go. One, two, three, four. Okay. That should do. Garden things up a little bit. Let's make sure that doesn't count as a road. Oop, fit another two houses there. So we're basically at 7,000 people, so I need another 1,000 people. Filling up the butterfly block might do it. Why are these devolving? No supply of furniture, really? I think uh, we just need another market up there. Right. No, no, they re -evolved. That's okay. That's a desirability issue. I guess we just put another oracle there. That might solve it. So the snake block is pretty filled up, right? This block is gonna be pretty filled up. We, sh we have plenty of food, so that's okay. The duck block is still a little short on food, so I think I will reduce the amount of housing a bit. There's no library here. Oh, it needs desirability. Let's just drop an oracle there and there. And that should deal with the desirability issue. I'll just give library access anyway. There we go. So the duck block has been evolved. The butterfly block is going to be filled up. The snake block is pretty much filled up. I mean, it's not really worth it to fill any more. I guess I could squeeze in a few houses here. We're at 7,000 people, thank you. And these are still gonna be moving in as well, right? Another 63, 82, 83, 162. That one's full, that one's full, okay. Okay, so now, let's see. I think you made a road connection with gardens in the duck block. What is actually... Why didn't this garden up? And yeah, I should make sure this is not a road connection, that's not a road connection, that's not a road connection. So I put small statues instead. Okay, there we go. Good catch, good catch. That was Sajuk, yes. You can select more than one pod in Zeus and Emperor. Zeus actually has a completely different uh, military system. You're getting pottery. How is the pottery supply here? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we have all of these set to getting wheat to try and feed this area. <laughs> All right, so population's gonna uh, hit 8,000, I'm pretty sure. What other things do we need? Culture's fine, prosperity's fine, peace is fine. Favor is just a little short. That's gonna be fine. How people? People are indifferent to you. I'll leave it at 14%. They seem to be happy enough. Money seems to be okay. It's February. Are we actually selling any vegetables? We are actually selling some vegetables. Isn't that interesting? The dockers are taking our goods to the warehouse now. Fantastic. Are you... we're still producing enough? Yes, everything looks like it's going okay. By the way, just so you know, I'm not plazaing up these two tiles here because this is a llama with a hat. This luxury llama is a llama with a hat. And also, if you... if you... if the animal is obscured from looking at it like this, right? You just look at the map. You can see there's the butterfly, there's the snake, there's the duck, there's the spider, there's the llama. You can very clearly see it. There's the little whale thing, baby whale, maybe kind of a fish. Looks more like a whale. Dog head over there. Snail over here. Animal blocks. Animal blocks. But is it wearing one, two hats or one hat? Hmm. Good question. Is this one hat or two hats? Maybe just one hat for now. Anyway. Sajuk does say the correct thing. We should save and speed it up. Let people move in. We're gonna be attacked. Make sure our ratings are okay. If there's one more request, we could get that. Let's let people move in. Make sure food doesn't run out. 
All these houses evolving, yes. 8,000 people. Enemies at the door. What is the unemployment rate? 18%! Jeez. Uh, well, uh, this peasant block here is going to be one of the more educated uh, blocks we have. There we go. Academy, academy, yes, yes. Uh, academy, yes. Academy, academy. Academy, yes. Thank you very much. 7%. That's how you solve the unemployment problem in your nations. Just build lots of buildings that need people to work in them. <laughs> uh, it it kind of works. Um, we're actually at 8,000 people, and that means... I just gotta send a gift and I'll win. So, just so you guys know, there is savings from previous maps, but this is the first gift I'm sending to Caesar, and I've set my salary to zero through this whole thing, and we've got plenty of money anyway, so I'm just gonna send a lavish gift. We don't need to send a lavish gift, as Modest One will probably do, but I want to reduce how much savings I have for the next mission. Because I don't like using savings, but there seems to be no requests coming in, so I'm just gonna go ahead and press this button. And the animal blocks have done it. Accept promotion. Are you a governor or a general? Your good work at Tinges frees my legions from duty in the West and lets me pursue other ambitions. You are becoming key to my planning. All right, and that is the end of Tingis with the animal blocks. Can you believe it? We actually did it with animal blocks. That is pretty crazy, actually. But I'm not sure which is harder. The realistic city, which I did on, I think, Miletus or the animal blocks. I'm not too sure. But anyway, let's go ahead and see what the next missions have in store. We now have Lutetia, a dangerous province, and Valencia, uh, the, the a fairly peaceful province for the 8th assignment. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can click the annotations on the screen right now, and it'll take you to those missions. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and found it useful, maybe, with learning how to do animal blocks. And ooh, the Luxury Llama. Luxury Llama did it. And that's gonna be it for now. I'll see you in the next video.